Alright, this is another really good circuit, and I've been using this for a while. I didn't just try this out and just decide to put it online. This is something I've been using for several months, and it has been working flawlessly, so I figured I would put it online for other people. Now it's designed as a gel cell battery charger, but now you could use it for a gel cell, you could use it for a regular lead acid battery, uh, you could use it for just about any battery you want, because with this you set the actual charging voltage, the maximum charging voltage, along with the maximum charging current, and it maintains that current until the very end of the charging cycle where it tapers off and stops. So I had a one of those small cordless vacuum cleaners which never really held the charge right, didn't really last. So what I did is I took the remaining batteries that I had in my laptop. I had a laptop battery and it went bad because two cells became open circuit and the other seven that remained were good. So I took those 18650 cylindrical lithium ion batteries and I took two of them to replace the nickel cadmium batteries that were inside this battery pack which I'll show you in a minute. All right. This little cordless vac was not holding charge at all and it used a nickel cadmium battery pack. So what I did is I busted this open and I put two 18650 lithium ion batteries. They're the long cylindrical ones that you would find in your laptop. I had a bad laptop battery and only two out of the nine were bad. They were open circuit. So the remaining ones I used for this project. There's two in here and it's extremely light and the power on it's excellent. Now the only problem I was going to have in doing this was how am I going to charge these lith lithium ion batteries safely. Now these two are roughly 8.4 volts. 4.2 a piece. It's a little higher voltage than the 6 point something that was in there. But it does work extremely well. The vacuum has never worked so good. The charging current is dependent upon which resistor value you use. So it's very easy to set. It uses an LM317T. And you have a charging LED light here. When the vacuum cleaner, in my case, is placed into the charging cradle, the red light will come on if it needs to be charged. As the voltage rises and nears completion of charging, the light will go out and there's no more current going into this battery pack. Ideally, you never want to charge higher than 4.2 volts per cell for the lithium ions. So to be safe, I charge these at roughly 4.16 to 4.17 per cell. And it's better to, from everything that I read, it's far better to slightly undercharge a lithium ion battery than it is to fully charge it or leave it on charge. So knowing that, I set the maximum charging voltage at 8.34 volts. So now, I'll demonstrate. That's my little setup right there I made. I modified that. I just stuck this little circuit in with a battery charger. There used to be an extra battery here. I don't use it. This circuit's void. That's a heat sink I made. I had an aluminum angle laying around with these holes in it. All right. That's the whole circuit. Now the, the potentiometer adjusts the voltage, so you don't touch that. And the charging current's preset, so I don't touch that anymore. When you put the battery, when you put the vacuum in the cradle, if the voltage is low, the charging indicator will come on. So what I'll do is I'll put it in the cradle, and put it on there, keep a close eye on it. There you go. Right now it's charging. Now this will get pretty hot, this heat sink. Not hot enough to burn you, but it'll get pretty hot. Right now it's outputting a maximum of around 8.34 volts. And the charging current is set, I think I have it set at 600 milliamps. 
once the battery reaches 8.34 all charging stops I've been using this now for about four or five months and it's working perfectly there's no heating problems the battery charges and I get great runtime out of it so you can use this but ideally it should be for one lithium ion cell and not two only because if one battery becomes short you're gonna have the full 8.34 going through one battery so you may want to consider putting a thermistor in your battery pack to monitor the temperature in the event that you're charging if it gets too hot at least the circuit can shut off